Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am La Perfect Leonard, aka Tyre. So if you're new to my channel, I love it so much for clicking the play button and don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is literally down there and also hit the notification bar so you're notified for whenever I upload videos, guys. So I'm super excited and I'm super appreciative that you're tuned into my channel to watch today's video. So definitely subscribe on your way out and I love you so much for watching. So guys, today's video is one that I just needed to film. Today is Tuesday and I got this makeup palette, makeup palette on Monday. So I had to jump on the bandwagon and film. I usually don't film on weekdays at all because obviously I'm working and I don't film on weekdays but I just had to. It was a must to film this video. From the moment Anastasia announced that they were going to launch this subculture palette, I just knew that I had to get it. Like there was nothing you could tell me about it. I just had to get the palette. I wanted to use it. I wanted to feel it. I wanted to do everything with it. So I'm going to get right into this palette and film a makeup tutorial for you guys right now. So this is what the palette looks like. It comes like this. It's a nice beautiful green and you also get the Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's a good size mirror, which are all really nice, pretty, and and really beautiful colors. And um, yeah, I can't wait to play in them. I'm gonna show you guys what this look, um, what look I'm gonna create with this palette. I'm gonna start off by using one of my favorite primer, Auburn Decay Primer Portion. I have powder under my eyes, guys, because I have done my foundation already. As always, I'm going to set the, eyesha the eyeshadow base with a loose translucent powder. I'm going to start off with a nice transition shade. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, look at that. I literally only just dipped my brush. Just tap, tap, tap. Okay, I am not about to run out of this. Okay, even it's like that is too much fallout, you guys. Find that in my crease as my crease color. Applying it, I can tell it's very powdery on the crease. In the, it's very very powdery, but it's blending pretty good for me. Love it in the crease. This is new wave. I'm putting in the crease right now. It's pouring out terribly. This is this is not Anastasia. Like this is not how they operate. I know why this doesn't feel. Like it's not blending into skin. It's blending sitting on the skin. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's not blending sitting. I think I might need to change the eyeshadow. What kind of the eyeshadow is? It's not blending on this into the skin. It's blending sitting on the skin. Okay, then, let me just do a bit more blending. Um, Cause this is my 224 brush I'm using, and it's my favorite and best blending brush. Never had a problem with it before. I don't even know what look I'm creating, but I'm really pissed, you guys, that that amount of eyeshadow literally came out of the palette because that's money down the toilet. That's a lot of eyeshadow. The next color I'm going to take is basically a shade that um, I haven't seen that many people use. I'm going to be taking this shadow here, this one here called All Star. I'm going to be taking this shadow here called All Star. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Okay, let's just take that brush in there. All Star just has like a reasonable amount of fallout, in my opinion. Not as much as the other ones. Okay, it's a lot. It's even when you're dusting the brush, you get more, but it's okay. We're gonna work with it. So I'm taking All Star and I'm applying that into the crease. All Star is super pigmented. That's good. Come on, 
won't mess it up. Um, it's not blending. I love the pigment on All Star, but it's not blending into my skin. My eyes are hurting from the blending. It's not blending into. The shadows are not blending each into each other. They're separating, and I don't understand why. There's a hash line that kind of just shows dark that I don't like. Okay, I'm gonna go back. All Star is really pigmented, can't lie. I can see it for sure, but it just isn't blending. Um, I'm gonna add a bit more. Maybe it will help each other blend. I don't know. No, it's not blending. It just shows like a dark separation here. Um, I don't know why. So, oh. I was really hoping that people who have downed this palette got a bad batch, but clearly they didn't. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's just move along because we can't be blending and be wasting the whole day. I'm going to go into this shadow here. This one is called Edge. I'm just going to use it to blend out the crease. So I'm going to be going into this shadow here. This one called this one. It's called edge because I just want to blend out that harsh line that I have it's kind of annoying me so I'm just gonna blend yet again a lot of fallout but new wave has just been terrible with fallouts for me so I'm gonna try to use oh When you oh come on Anastasia what happened auntie what happened like you were like oh this is looking bad it just it just looks stupid like do you know what I am so happy I am trying this palette on myself and not a client this can be pretty frustrating I'm not happy at all. I'm gonna go back. I'm not happy at all. So I'm gonna go back into All Star again and try fix this mess going on here because the shadows are not working together. They kind of just act like they're stepsisters or something. It just looks stupid. Okay, I'm going to help my mini I don't know what to call this look. A black eye or smoky eye. The shadows don't blend. I'm sorry, they don't blend. Look at that. Like from afar, it probably looks good, but like, look at this. It's like this dark. There's like a, I have like a dark line here that isn't going anywhere, that isn't blending. It's just staying there. I'm blowing like. keep blending it anyways and see what I can get out of this look I'm gonna go back in again with new wave into that new wave again hopefully it's just the top that wasn't good no no it's the shadow it's falling out look at that yeah look at that $42 let's do this just gonna there, run it up there, and just go. Okay, when you blend all star, it, it fades away, it goes away and leaves this crazy line. I'm gonna go into it again. Like, I believe in this shadow so much that it can work. So, I'm gonna go into all star again. Like, you can't just give up just like that. Unless maybe there's like a special eyeshadow base for these shadows or something. I don't know. No, it's not working. Even my ha my eyes are hurting. As I said, you guys, I'm not going to give up on this. Like, it's looking really bad. So, I'm 
it's not blending i have harsh lines and it just looks like a black eye the shadows don't don't marry each other really well so i'm gonna go in with my i'm gonna go in with my brush and i'm gonna dip into my matte concealer and i'm gonna kind of create like a cut crease this is not the best um brush for this but i'm just going to use it to because it would work I'm gonna go into Cube. It's a nice champagne pink. Um, it's supposed to be, it's like white, but when you put it on, it goes pink. So I'm super excited to try it. So I'm gonna start off by applying that on the. Okay, not coming up at all. Oh boy, it's not working. Okay, maybe I'll wet the brush. It's not showing up at all. On. Okay, we're getting something. <laughs> Dear Anastasia, I have some coming from the customer service right now. You know I want to use the shadow because it's one I haven't seen anyone use. And this green on top of it. I'm not getting that much fallout from these ones that's good I've added some of this as well to the look and I'm gonna go back into that pink again even if it's not working for us but we're still gonna use it because it's part of the look really? can't spoil look because of one thing okay really? I think it's beginning really to work but no one should ever spend this much effort on uh, creating an eye makeup look for something you pay $42 for for, and for such a prestige brand like Anastasia it's a good look i'm gonna blend i'm gonna go into this shadow here called roxy so guys i haven't used this roxy shadow at all this is just from placing my brush here look i haven't i just put my brush here and look at that fallout it's too much it feels like i've used it four times okay so i'm gonna go into roxy either way <sighs> oh come on like my whole trousers is like feel the eyeshadow do I have this harsh line I just can't understand why I have this harsh line here I'm gonna go into Roxy again so you guys have a look this time put my brush here this is my brush here look at that anyways it picks up a lot of products but just the fallout it's a bit much it's a uh, it's much not even a bit it's much So the next thing is I'm going to apply some eyeshadow on my brow bone. I'm going to go into the shadow called Dawn. Yes. Dawn. So much fallout, but it's okay. I'm going to line my eyes and apply some false lashes and I will be right back. So guys, to finish this look up, I'm going to go back into the same palette and I am going to basically, I'm going to take All Star here and I'm going to mix it in with this shadow here, this one here, I'm going to mix it in with this shadow here and oh, some more fallout, oh no, this one has a lot of fallout just like a new wave, I'm just going to dust it because I have most of my makeup done, I'm going to run that in my lower lash line. Oh no, I should have left the powder on. Oh, come on, that is a lot of fallout. What the hell was I even thinking doing this? I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna run it on its own. It's a lot of fallout. Okay, it didn't work. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and a little bit of a uh, uh, thing. And I'm gonna kind of just. And I'm gonna go in with a brush and try dust this away and hope for the best. I'm gonna leave it as it is because there's nothing I can do about it. Now, creating this look I'm wearing today with this palette was a disaster. That's the best word I can use. 
I don't know how it looks on camera, but up close, it looks like I am two months learning how to do makeup. That's the way it looks. I watched Alyssa Ashley's review on the palette and it was just so bad because the kind of person who just puts everything into each tutorial and she was trying so hard to make the shadows work and I was like to myself, ah, please, Alisa got a bad batch. Mine is not going to be like that when it comes. I'm sure she got a bad batch. After all, she's got hers. I haven't gotten mine. So she probably got one of the first or one of the testers. This was what I was thinking in my mind. I was just thinking she got a bad batch. She probably got one of the testers. Mine is not going to be like this. You know, I was just having that instant that no, my own shadow is not going to be like this. She probably got one of the first batch. By the time they're shipping outside to internationals like us in Europe, we would be getting the good batch of the shadows. That was what I thought. So on my eyes today, I have, I dig into New Wave. And looking at New Wave already, New look, this is New Wave here. This is New Wave here. New Wave is looking like a shadow that I have used four times already and I only used it today. The shadow has quite a lot of fallout, which I didn't mention in the tutorial. There's just too many fallouts, too many fallouts. I'm surprised because our other shadows don't do this. Like the shadows have just too many fallout. I decided to use this color called Cube on my crease. It's such a nice color. It's like a nice champagne. It's white. Look at that. I'm getting fallout. Oh, Jesus Christ. So it's supposed to be like pink when you swatch it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's supposed to swatch pink. You swatch it, but it's like an off-white. What I noticed straight away that it was not as pigmented as Anastasia's shadows are. Another thing that drives me crazy is when you do this. Like, look at that. Just tap. Do, do, do. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. The amount of fallout I'm getting was just absolutely disgraceful. And look at that from the brush. It was just so annoying. For $42, I can't do this anymore to this shadow because I'm about to heat pan. I can see it. it's gone so low. And I noticed the same thing with Roxy. I noticed the same thing. I didn't try Forge because I believe Forge should be fine because I do have Forge in my other palette. Another shadow that acted like an absolute gobshite is this shadow here called All Star. It's an absolute gobshite. It doesn't blend well. It's basically plenty of fallout and it leaves you with the crazy ass ash lines. I have this harsh crazy line in my crease that just looks absolutely rubbish like oh. This is a waste of $42. This was a miss. She didn't heat, strike any cord. The only shadow that really struck, stood out for me and kind of worked well. Dawn was absolute cripe as well. It was basically just pouring down shadow, like literally dust everywhere. Roxy was stupid. On my lid, I have electric and cube together and it doesn't even look like I have them on my lid. You can't even see. They don't marry well together. My um, eyelid is creasing and it's not the eyeshadow base because I know my eyelid is creasing. It's not the eyeshadow base. I know this. And what else? The only shadow that I absolutely love is Ardon, which is the bronzy shade here, which is this bronzy shade here, Ardon. I absolutely love it. Um, other than that, I would definitely say pass on this palette. It's not a must-have. I heard that Anastasia is going to be changing the formula and basically getting this palette up to standard. And um, if she does that, I want a new one. She needs to give me a new one. I'm going to definitely ask customer service for a new one. And that's pretty much it. The packaging, it's already dirty, obviously, because I have shadows everywhere. The Anastasia, the Anastasia Subculture Palette, I would say sleep on it. It's not a must-have. It doesn't do what it should do. It doesn't blend well. Um, but if you have the, um, if you really want to get an Anastasia Palette, I would recommend you get the Modern Renaissance Palette. I absolutely recommend any other uh, modern renaissance palette over this this was supposed to be the night version of the modern renaissance palette 
but this just goes to say, show that if it's not broken don't fix it honestly if it's not broken don't fix it because like they just literally just because Anastasia is a well respected brand in the beauty industry so if it's not broken don't fix it that is basically what this palette is saying and um, because the modern renaissance was absolutely fine there was no point in coming out with this if it's not going to match up the standard or even be much better if anastasia is working on the formula like she said i would recommend she kills it even make it more better and an advice i would give to about this palette people like me and reach out to them and send them another one without them even accent that is a good customer service don't wait for me to make a complaint when you know quite all right that this isn't performing to standard i paid 42 dollars i have high expectations then definitely go ahead and literally just send everyone who bought this palette just send them another one just go ahead if you're gonna fix it don't wait for them to ask i'm not known for returning stuff but i'm so pissed with this palette that i'm definitely gonna return it i am not a returner I'm that kind of person if I buy something if it doesn't work out I'll keep it because obviously I'm a makeup artist so I have a kit I it would find a use for itself at some stage but this palette was is it's it's an epic fail I'm really sorry it's an epic fail please don't waste your money and buy this palette just look at the mirror of this palette that's how dirty it already is because there's so much fallout from the shadows that's pretty much it for this palette it's $42 it's not worth the money pass 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 on it don't buy it unless they improve the formula and do something better with it other than that anastasia is a brand that i love but i am so disappointed honestly thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys